This is a very special review of one of my favorite games of all time, Metal Gear Solid on the PlayStation 1. I didn't play this game until about 10 years after it came out, and I was still completely blown away by it, which still happens every time I play through it, but still. Okay, let's get on with this. Let's check out Metal Gear Solid on the PlayStation 1. Okay, so this game was released in October of 1998, and was a continuation of the preceding Metal Gear games. Alright, so, let's get right into the story. It takes place in the year 2005, and you play as the almighty Solid Snake. Basically, you get shot out of a submarine and have to scuba dive into a vast isolated military complex overrun with mercenaries and genome soldiers. Your former colleagues, who are members of an elite group named Foxhound, have turned to the dark side and stolen the most powerful weapon on Earth, which is a giant walking nuclear equipped battle tank named Rex. This is where the game begins swimming up to an underground dockyard and preparing to infiltrate an entire base on your own. That's insane. I don't want to give away any more of the plot because it's just so awesome and it needs to be experienced in order to do it justice. There's so many twists and turns and surprises along the way of this magnificent story. And it's very fast paced and exciting, so you'll always be intrigued about what's coming next. The characters are extremely memorable, and very interesting. There's so many that I love. Obviously, you got Solid Snake, but there's also Dr. Naomi Hunter, Mei Ling, etc. There's just too many to count. I also really like the cutscenes. They're very well done, and I just really like the look of them. Now, let's talk about the gameplay, because this is the strongest point of the game. It's so satisfying getting past all these guys undetected. And you don't have to take the stealth route, because you can also just run around shooting everything. I personally prefer stealth though, because there's plenty of games where you run around shooting people. There are also a number of weapons to acquire while you try to beat the mission, like a machine gun, pistol, etc. The controls are very easy to master. They're nice and smooth and very responsive. I love them. But this is how it should be though, so it's not that much of a big deal. The graphics are a little outdated today, but think about when this game came out back on the PS1. It must have been groundbreaking for the time. This game had excellent voice acting. It might actually be the best voice acting in the whole series. Fire. I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? What are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? The music is absolutely awesome, and the game has aged very well. Even though the graphics and cutscenes are a bit dated, this game has great visuals and of course, outstanding gameplay. It's a pretty tough game too, but I've played it so many times that it's like nothing now. But it's still fun. It takes about 10 hours to beat if you really know what you're doing. If not, you're probably looking at about 15 to 16 hours of gameplay. But it's all entertainment goals, so it's very enjoyable and worth it. Overall, it's a very, very good game. You can tell there was so much work that got put into this game, and what do you know? It all paid off, because it's an excellent, excellent game, okay? So check it out.